Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Sweet No Death, which is a horror game created by Arcade Kitten, where a witch creates a village full of animal friends. And since it's an RPG Maker horror game, you know exactly what's going to happen. Once upon a time, there was a small woodland town. In a land where the grasses grow pink, and the trees hold yellow leaves up to the sun as if to mirror her. In this town lived many animals, who would spend their days frolicking along the grass, and their evenings gazing up at the stars. And, one very fateful night, a star fell. A shooting star that had blazed its way across the galaxy. It shone brighter than anything they had seen. It landed right beside their quaint forest town. And then, something quite curious happened. From the remains of the comet, emerged the magical Star Witch. The animals were curious, asking her all sorts of questions. Who are you? Where did you come from? She answered that she was a blessing from the stars, gifted with all kinds of magical power. She promised to use this power to make their lives as happy as can be. Using her magic, she turned a once pleasant community into an even more delightful one, creating many friends in the process. And so, they all lived in magical harmony. Until this game started. Ah, uh, good morning, world. Always a pleasure to wake up to you. Here's to a good day today. Now, what was I doing today? Ah, uh, wait, right, 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 right. Raj wanted to meet me down by the river for a picnic this morning. I should start heading over there after I do my garden work for today. So is this the person who came down in the comet? A soft chair for sitting with guests. You invite people over, but they're usually the ones inviting you out. So lonely. These cows were a gift from Raj. This basket was a gift from Ruby. The star was a plush gift from Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop was the first person to give you a present after you arrived here. You remember him being a bit sheepish presenting- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> presenting it to you. He said that he hoped you would think of him when you hold it. You do. Your bed. It's as soft as starlight. Your kitchen. You don't need anything from these cabinets right now. Your cauldron. Use the whip of potion potions and other magical concoctions to help your animal friends over whatever ails them. You feel like you've been using it more than usual lately. Hello, butterfly. Hello, flower. Goodness, how pretty you are. I could stare at you all day. But I'm a bit busy for that. Little magic for you? There we go. So opalescent, you're gorgeous. A bit of magic for you and that's all you need. Oh my, moon daisies aren't supposed to be this color. Hey, you aren't sick, are you? Here, I've got you. There you go. Feel better? I'll leave a little extra magic for you, haha. <laughs> oh, you grew in beautifully. Take a little water, a generous magic sprinkle. There you go. You should be good for the next few days. Oh gosh, I haven't been spending too long on my flowers, have I? Let me get going. Are you, are you, you lamb chop? Good morning, lamb chop. How did I know? Hi, Stella. Can I help you with anything? No, no, I just wanted to say good morning. Did feel right to not check on you. You are my friend, after all. Is that so? Oh, aren't you the sweetest? Do you have any plans for today, Stella? You're always quite busy. I do. I imagine I'm going to meet Raj by the river right now. He invited me to a picnic. I think he won my approval for some of his cooking. <laughs> ah, right. I remember Raj telling me about this. I even gave him some candy earlier. For you guys to share. You did. That was very nice of you. 
Are you doing anything? Other than running the candy shop all day? Oh, indeed I am. After the store closes for the night, I'll be heading over to Ruby's Bakery. We're gonna try workshopping a new pie recipe for the next group picnic. Haha. <laughs> I'd like to see Rod try beating us when it comes to the culinary arts. Oh, really? Gosh, that sounds like it'll be lovely. And delicious. Hmm. What, um, I'd be able to help you guys, maybe? Oh, it's really not necessary. We'll be fine on our own. Promise. Uh, well, if you say so. I have to get going. I don't want to keep Raj waiting too long. Right, see you later, Stella. Have a great morning. Yes, you too. Candy. You never sure how much lamb chop sells in a day. Lamb chop sweet. Uh oh. Lamb chop sweet is fly trap. Aptly named Venus. It looks like she's been recently fed. Feed me. Ah, uh, Stella. There's no need for you to come behind the counter. I can get you anything you need help with. Uh, that's a little, a little suspicious, my friend. River. That's telling you where we're supposed to go. But. No. Plenty of coins line the bottom of the fountain. Wishing on a fountain seems pointless with you around, though. Bread. You don't need to see Ruby in her bakery just yet. You've had many lovely lunches and tea breaks with friends sitting here. Residential area. Acorn's house. You knock on the door, but it appears they aren't home right now. Buck's house. Hmm. No one's home. Curious. Very curious. Oh, God! No. We aren't doing this. This isn't that kind of story. Wait, what? Oh, Raj. Where's your head at? I think it's over here. Ben. Ah, there you are. Collected Raj's head. There. That's all the blood done away with a quick spell. Now, to put your head back on your neck. Alright, now we just... Oh my god. Oh, hello, Stella! You made it just in time. For you to die? Raj, are you okay? Yes, why? Like... You feel fine. Nothing hurts you or anything? Um, I suppose I do have a bit of a headache. <laughs> but that might just be from me tripping onto the ground earlier. You... Tripped. That's all that happened? I know, I know, I'm not usually so clumsy. Which, uh, also brings us to the bad news. Bad news? What kind of bad news? See, when I tripped, it was, uh... Kind of a nasty fall. And because I was close to the river when it happened, well... I kind of spilled all of our food into the river, huh? <laughs> oh, Rod, that isn't bad news at all. The important thing is that you're safe. I'm really sorry to ruin our morning plans like this. Goodness, I've only looked where I was going. Rod, really, it isn't a problem. You're dead. What about you? What are you going to do for breakfast now? I have plenty of food at home. And speaking of home, why don't you head home too? <laughs> head home. You better head on out of here. You said you had a headache, right? <laughs> headache. You ought to lay down and rest and maybe use some of that medicine to give you the store at home. If you need more, just tell me and I'll make another batch. Haha, <laughs> no worries, Stella. I think I've still got enough. You know best, and a nap does sound nice right now. But promise me we can do this again soon. I definitely won't drop anything next time. Probably. So here's my guess story-wise. 
this is not okay obviously she didn't react really weird um or rather she didn't react like oh my god uh sh i'm assuming bad things have been happening in this town and she's just constantly like fixing things it's almost like a, a director writing a um like constantly retconning character deaths i should look around a bit is there anyone else outside right now because she said no, it's not gonna be like one of these stories or whatever. So this town, I'm assuming this town is just constantly trying to break into like a horror game situation. Like it's just overflowing with it. And she's like, no, nope, no, nope, this is not a horror game. Nope. Not a horror game. Let's go back to the uh residential area. Acorn? Are you li No, you gotta be like a squirrel or something, right? Joe, oh, a chipmunk or something. Oh my gosh! No, I'm not gonna do it now with a chipmunk voice. Oh my gosh! Hi, Stella! Hi, Acorn. How's your day? Is it going well? Need help with anything? Actually, my day could... Probably be a bit better. <laughs> oh, why do you say that? Is it... Anything I can help with? Uh, maybe? I don't know. See, I need some help watering some star flowers in my yard. Oh, star flowers are my favorite. Don't I know it? And I borrowed this watering can from Buck the other day, right? So, of course I wanted to give it back to him now that I'm done using it. But, uh, he hasn't been answering his door all day. Buck is dead. I, uh, actually haven't seen him anywhere all day. Even though I went looking for him. He wasn't in any of his usual places, and no one I ask has seen him. Really? Nobody at all? Nope. Well, maybe the Lamb Chop has, but he didn't give me a straight answer. Hmm. How do you mean? I mean, he kind of seems to be in a grumpy mood today. I stopped by earlier and asked him about Buck, but he was halfway into the back of his store. She didn't have time to help me look for him or whatever, and that he was busy. Killing Buck. I asked if he could uh, could least see what he was so busy with back there. But he said it was super secret. No boys or girls allowed. I remind him that I'm not either of those. And he slammed the door in my face. Well, that's not very nice at all. Ah, uh, it's not too bad. I think he's just antsy, that's all. I'm sure he didn't even mean it. I'm probably just taking it the wrong way. I don't know what he'd be getting so stressed over, though. Life here is a dream. I suppose you have you around. Maybe it is a dream. Well, if you think it's just stress, then... You know, speaking of Lamb Chop, I feel completely silly. Silly? Yes, I stopped by a store this morning, and I completely forgot while I was in there that I wanted to pick up some candy myself. Ah, I see. Yeah, I think you should go see him again. If he's in a grumpy mood, I think seeing you will cheer him up. You think so? What makes you say that? Because seeing you always cheers me up. But also, I think you're his favorite out of everyone. I mean, I think we all kind of think you're the best, but... I think he's always liked you best, best. Ever since that first day you got here. That's sweet. I won't waste any time then. I'll go see him. I hope you can find Buck in the meantime. Buck is dead. You and me both. Yo, Lamb Chop, is Buck dead? Lamb Chop, you unsubtle! Hi again, Stella. Hi again, Lamb Chop. Did you just have lunch? It looks like you have some jam left on your face. It's blood. Uh, uh, excuse me? It's blood. Well, do you... Do you need help cleaning it off? No, I'm fine with it there. Are you sure? Well, if you're gonna make such a fuss about it. So, 
What does he keep back in here for? I just wanted to check on you, that's all. Ah, uh, you really care about me, don't you? Well, Stella, as much as I love to see you, I must start preparing to close up shop. I have to make sure I've got everything I need for when I meet up with Ruby in a bit to murder her. But I'll see you tomorrow, won't I? Certainly. I better go check on her before he gets there. She must be in the bakery if she's waiting for him, right? Yeah, she just seems like just... It, it's just like she's just so tired. But she's like, ah, oh, here we go again. Everyone's murdering each other. Why can't, why can't people just kill along? Ruby. Stella, you never say my name right. It's Ruby. You gotta say with the Roo. Like, Aru. 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 This is getting a little. Ha 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 ha. Uh huh. <laughs> So, R R Ruby, there was actually something I wanted to ask you about. Lamb Chop is coming over tonight, right? To try out new recipes and stuff? Would you want me to stay and help? I know my way or two around the kitchen, you know? Oh, um, no, that's okay. I had, um, ever be surprised, yeah. Ah, that's right. I forgot, you like like Lamb Chop, haha. <laughs> Are you gonna eat lamb chop? But isn't lamb chop gonna try to eat you? Like what's... Well, hey, that's not true. It's not? So you don't care about having alone time with him after all? Well, m maybe. Maybe a little. Uh, I, I see, I see, I, I, I get it. Well, I don't want to intrude on you if you don't want me here for it. Just b please stay safe, won't you? Uh, of course, Stella. I always keep things safe in the kitchen, and I never forget my oven mitts. Right. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Stella. I'll make sure to save extra for you. It'll mean the world to me if you like what we come with. Uh-oh. There's dozens of sweet treats underneath the glass. You're always surprised by how much Ruby you can turn out all by herself. You can't go anywhere without Ruby's permission. Sunset. It's getting late already. I suppose I'd better get home then. Cause you ever I never was like a line early on. About like, oh, she's been like using a lot of potions late potions lately. So when I heard that line, I was like, like, what, are they like, is it like some kind of like Kenny South Park situation? Everyone just keeps dying? Maybe, maybe I was like spot on. It's bedtime, isn't it? Well, I'm all ready for bed. Gosh, what is he doing right now? I should. Oh, Lamb Chop. I hope you're not being too rough on her. She's softer than the others. Good morning. I should bring Ruby breakfast today. I'm sure she's hungry after working with Lamb Chop all night. <laughs> yeah, see? To get my ingredients. Okay. Now let's see here. Well, this, definitely this. Um. Okay, yes. This should be more than enough. Don't worry, Ruby. If anything went wrong, I can fix it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get over there. Everyone's gonna be dead. Ruby. 
Ruby, you dead? Ruby! I was wondering if we could have breakfast? Oh no, Ruby. Nope, Lamb Chop is the one dead this time. Sorry. Stella, I'm not really hungry right now. Oh, Ruby. Can you bring me a pot, Ruby? Okay. Did you really like, like, lamb chop, or did you just like eating lamb chop? Now, Ruby, while I'm preparing this, do you mind telling me what happened? I didn't mean to. I, I, I didn't want to do it. I'm sorry. I did. I, I should have. But, 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 I, but. Hey, 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 calm down. It's okay, Ruby. You're safe. And I'm here to help you. Just tell me what happened, if you can. L last night. Now this, and this. Perfect. Now be ready for when... Lamb Chop, you're here! <laughs> I've been so excited. We want to try making first. Oh, wait, you've got a basket. What did you bring? We can use that for the first pie before it goes bad. Oh, uh, okay. W w what? What? You're one that have brought a friend for dinner, do you? Eat it. Huh? Did I stutter? Eat it. What are you talking about? You're a wolf. Aren't you? Wolves eat meat. Eat it. You're... You, you can't be Lamb Chop. I don't know who you are, but I never eat one of my friends. I never eat anyone. Come now. That's not true. Don't think I don't notice the way you look at me, Rumi. Everyone thinks you have a crush on me. That's not tr quite true, is it? I think you want to eat me. Though, I suppose that might as well be the same as a crush in the end. How are you meant to love something you don't want to destroy? Well, eat it already. Something's wrong of you. You're crazy. Ruby! Shut it. Eat it before I make you eat it. Ah. Look. Is that... Is that the idiot sandwich meme? You made me get my hands dirty. Tastes good, though. Doesn't it? I should hope so. Took a lot to get to this point. <laughs> oh, Rumi. You've got such a beautiful smile. I do want to do it. I, I promise. But, but he took his hands to the basket and... Ruby, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you for telling me as much as you did. He, he was right too, Stella. It... it did taste good. I wouldn't worry about that, Ruby. All right, Ruby. I'm all done. Now let's wipe your face and... drink this for me, okay? I promise you'll feel a lot better. Uh, Stella, I, I don't know. I don't... I don't feel so good. I feel like... like I gotta... Excuse me. Larg. Rainbows. Wow, I feel so much better. You are right. Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. Now, may I ask you again about last night just really quickly? Sure. What do you want to know? I'll, um... What happened last night? Well, well, Lamb Chop came over to bake pies with me. And? 
That's all I can remember, actually. I don't think what kind of recipes we tried out, but I honestly can't recall. It's kind of blurry, almost. All I can think about is how excited I was when I saw him come through the door. Everything after that just isn't really coming to me. I may have been dreaming the whole time. <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries at all. I'm just happy to see you smile about it. Though, I do wonder. Huh. I'll see you later, Ruby. I need to check something. Okie dokie. Help me pick up any sweet treats for yourself on the way out. Yeah. Okay, so Buck's back. Buck! Ah, Zilla. Oh, Buck. I'm so happy to see you're alright. Do you... Um, this might be strange, but... Where did you come from? Oh, you noticed, though. I thought I could sneak out undetected. It's, uh... Really weird. Like, I went to go help with Flam Chop or something. And then I just... Woke up in Ruby's bathroom. Oh my god. That's why she went and threw up. I don't know how I got there. And I didn't want to spook her. So I thought I could just sneak out the back. But I guess she caught me anyways. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, oh. Acorn's been looking for you. They wanted to return your watering can. Huh. Got it. I'll go look for them now. You can't keep doing this. What's going on? Like some... Some predator... Racism thing? Or it could be like... Because I'm assuming everyone was just like animals. In this scenario. Like they're just normal animals. And then like... Star Witch over here... Came in and like, I've got the power of Disney! Oh! And then everyone became humanoid. And then Lamb Chop's like... Why did you have to transform the wolf? Although it looks like Lamb Chop's also just very possessive of us. Um, um, but at the same time, they, they seem kind of dismissive, so we'll see. It could also be like they don't like this perfect life, and they're trying to destabilize it on purpose. They want to go back to being an animal. Hi, Stella. Good morning. Is everything okay, Stella? You seem a little grumpy, haha. <laughs> you know I saw everything you did, right? Oh, did ya? Did you like it? No. Lamb Chop, I didn't. And I fixed it. You... Did you think I couldn't? I fixed all of them, Lamb Chop. No one's dead. No one's injured. They don't even remember it. Again. I fixed everything. Again. Stella, you evil fucking bitch. I hate you. Oh, <laughs> this story. You've been working overtime, huh? You. Yep. You've been working overtime. I see you decorate more since the last time. Uh huh. How nice of you to notice. What's the meat from? Lamb Chop? We need to talk about this. <sighs> I should have eaten the bitch myself. Maybe then we wouldn't be having this problem. Heh, <laughs> yeah. I had to see you try fixing that. Lamb Chop? Why do you keep doing this? Because I want to. Why else? That's not an answer. How isn't it? 
because you're not telling me anything when you say that. Fine. I do it because it's fun. There. You happy now? Do you think I'm stupid? That I accept you just want to do this stuff because it's fun. How could anyone get enjoyment out of this? I mean, there's been a lot of characters like this in real life, you know, that just did it for fun. Oh, fuck off, Stella. You never understand anyways. Get the fuck out of my shop. What are you still doing here? Have I just told you to fuck off? I don't want to leave just yet. <laughs> That's just like you. It's always about what you want. The entire fucking goddamn world is always about what you want. Oh, what I want. It's about what everyone wants. Everyone gets to eat good, feel good, be happy. What more could you be asking for? What more do you, you want? I want you to drop dead. This isn't the laptop I met when I first came here. He would have never said that to me. No, it's not. And he wouldn't have. But I like this one better. I guess you'll just have to deal with it, hero. You know what's funny? I never really thought much of Rumi. Or, really, I thought of her as such wasted potential. A wolf with pointed claws and sharp teeth, yet indiscernible from any prey animal. You may as well have defanged her in the entire time you've been here. But last night, something happened. I watched her mash away when I made out a buck. And something about it. When I saw her like that, crying, her mouth just dripping with blood. Just her teeth were all red. It felt like the way it was meant to be. And looking at it, it's like I was overcome with this urge suddenly. One I never felt towards her before. And that is Prey Drive? Whoa! I want to kiss her. Did you kiss her? Ha! Like I'm gonna tell you. It's more fun to watch you grapple with the idea. What? Are you still wondering if I'll tell you? <laughs> you know what, Stella? I'll tell you this. I've always wanted to kiss you a lot more. Okay. I mean, come on. You look like an angel when you first got here. The way you spoke to us was nothing but comforting, and you had this unbreakable charm to you. Was I not supposed to be drawn in by something like that? I was enraptured by you, completely swept up in how absolutely above me you were. And now, I think that's just it. You always saw yourself that way, too, didn't you? When I think about how roomy looked last night, it reminded me of you. I only wanted to kiss her because in that moment, she looked so beautiful and felt so real. And I realized that when you came here, it was like you were the first real thing to ever happen to me. And after all the time that's passed, I realize that's even more true now, the way I am now. I feel like a, a person, like more of a person I, than I've ever been before. I see everyone else the way you always have. How can you expect me to feel bad about what I did to Buck? 
to Raj, to, to anyone? Am I supposed to feel guilty about what I did to Ruby last night? She isn't a person. Not yet. Not the way that you and I are. But she could be. She, she, she could be. If you'd let her. Who am I kidding? You won't even let me. But Stella doesn't want to surround herself with people. She wants to surround herself with friends. Everyone here is your friend, right? That's what I am to you, right? I, I'm your friend. That's so funny. I don't even recall you being mine. Excuse me? Huh? How could you say that I'm not your friend? Everything I do is for you. Ah. Did that make you mad? You're really cute when you're mad, Stella. Kind of proves my point, though, doesn't it? The second something isn't the way you want it to be, you get mad. Imagine how I feel repeating the daily cycle of living in a sugar-coated hell. If anything, you should be happy it took me so long to, to get to this point. But no, you wouldn't be happy for me no matter what. Because the stuff that's fun for me isn't the stuff that Stella likes to see. And anything that doesn't fit into Stella's idea of a comfortable and perfect world has got to go. Right? Maybe I'd be happy for you if your idea of fun wasn't killing all our friends. Oh, happy tree friends! Ah, so this is a happy tree friends world. And making them eat each other. Did you, did you ever think about that? Of course I have! But then I thought about it some more. And do you really treat them that much better? You really have completely lost it, haven't you? Oh! You're so funny. Who do you think I learned how to love from? If this is your idea of love, then I can't believe you'd even compare me. I don't love like this. Oh, my stars. You can't even see it. You're delusional, says the lamb chop, chopping meat. Explain it to me then. How are our ideas of love possibly the same? Alright then. Let's take a look at the way you love. You arrive here on a falling star. And the second you do, you take this entire town into your hands. Before anyone knows it, you're fixing all their problems. Problems they didn't even know they had. Problems they never even asked for help with. Suddenly, you're the center of their lives. Of everyone's lives. They're planning their days around you. Doing things that they'll hope will make you happy in the end. You've consumed their minds. Just like you did mine. And so, when I think about it like that, it's really clear to me. You have no idea how to love anything without eating it. And now I'm not sure if I can see love any other way. You know, Stella, I think we should get married. You and me, husband and wife. What'd you say? You've already been bound to each other together in eternal misery. Might as well make it official. Maybe by the end of it all, we'll finally eat each other. And then neither of us will be winners. Lamb Chop, stop this already. Can you understand? I don't want you to be miserable. Ha! Could've fooled me. You've been doing nothing but making me miserable for who knows how long now. I want you to be happy, Lamb Chop. Of course I want you to be happy. But I can't get behind this, I just... I don't get it. Everyone else is happy with the way things are. So why can't you be? What is any of this doing for you? Okay. Now you're really starting to get my nerves. You're not even listening to me. Are you? I mean, ha! Why would you? Of course you're not listening to me. Because I'm not saying what Stella wants to hear. 
You just want and want and want. It's all you've ever done from the moment you landed here. You just want what you want, and so you take it. You have no regard for anyone here. Because what do we want? We want what we're supposed to want. And what we're supposed to want is to make Stella happy. And if something's not making Stella happy, then there's something wrong with the things we want. Because Stella, beautiful, stupid, aggravating, celestial Stella, can never think about anything other than what she wants. And she can't handle that for the first time since she got here. It isn't about what she wants. It's about what I want. Then what is it that you want? I want misery. I want death. I want a fucking life. Nothing has ever meant anything with you around. Not unless it was about you. We have picnics and it feels like nothing. We throw tea parties and festivals and there's nothing. I realized at a certain point that when you smiled at me, there was nothing behind those eyes. I had never been a person to you until all of this. I, we, we, all of us have always just been accessories in your vision of a perfect world where everyone needs you to feel like you're great. But now, now I'm somebody. I'm somebody, and you hate it. I also hate that you're murdering everybody, but yeah. I'm happy, and I'm doing something that makes me happy. It makes me happy, even when it doesn't make you happy. And when you look at me now, you are seeing someone. And all I had to do was everything you hated. Isn't that so funny? And the funniest part is that I feel like I finally understand you. Because when I watch these fuckers die, I've never felt more alive. Because now I get it. I finally feel what you felt all this time. Control. But I'm not supposed to. That feeling's reserved for Stella, right? So she'll stop me at every turn, at every corner. And just like always, the story returns to being about Stella again. Ha! Say out loud. It was an odd sense of joy in knowing you're just as awful as me. Maybe even more, when we consider everything that led to us being here now. Maybe that's why I still like you after all this. Your mind's more fucked up than everything I could come up with. Yeah, that's it. That's what I still love about you after everything. I can never get enough of how awful you are. I aspire to it. Can I just like walk away at any moment? Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's leave Lamb Chop alone now. It's probably a bad ending. Oh, Lamb Chop. I tried to help you, but I'm not sure if you can be helped anymore. If that's the case, then... Then... Then what? You gonna get rid of Lamb Chop? Oh, Lamb Chop. I didn't want to have to do this. But you've given me no choice. You won't let me help you. So I'll have to do it on my own. Huh. Good morning, sunshine. What a beautiful day it is today. I should go check up on Lamb Chop today. You might need a little help. What did you do to Lamb Chop? W wait. Y you just died in Lamb Chop's hair? Oh, good morning, Stella. Good morning, Lamb Chop. Are you doing okay today? You seem a little antsy. Haha, <laughs> aren't I always? It's alright, I just, uh... I gave myself a bit of a paper cut this morning. I started bleeding, and it really icked me out, you know? I prefer to avoid blood where I can, haha. <laughs> I see. I know how you get with blood, haha. <laughs> Well, you always know who to come to if you ever need a bandage or someone to kiss the boo-boo better. Oh, of course. Thanks, Stella. You're the best. Thank you, Lamb Chop. I'm happy to hear you think so. 
Wrong in. Baba Black Sheep. I guess he just completely wiped his brain. So getting the wrong ending is just leaving at any moment. It's like, because there's multiple pauses there. It's like, oh, I'm just fed up with you, Lamb Chop. You just leave. And the good ending is probably, well, the true ending is probably talking to Lamb Chop fully. You know what sucks, so even this isn't going to last forever. You'll keep fixing whatever I do, and you'll keep wishing that I'll stop. But you'll get used to it. And just like that, I'll stop being a person to you again. Before I know it, you'll go back to seeing me the way you see everyone else. Just another part of the story. He repeats all his own lines to you over and over and over again. Okay, so that's all the dialogue. Now what? Just leave? Again? Maybe... There's still a way to make you happy, too. No, it, it was different. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Oh no. Oh man, oh god. He's right. He's been my friend ever since I got here. But... Am I really allowed to call myself his? Friends try to make each other happy. Even if recently, that's not the case. Maybe it's because I haven't been keeping up with my end of the friendship. So... So... I'm sorry, what? What? Oh god, it's sat ending in Wano Nohara. Alright. What are you trying to pull? I'm not trying to pull anything. Then... What's all this for? You don't expect me to believe any of these blood and guts are real, do you? Haha, <laughs> you're correct. It's all just magic and decoration. Why? I thought you hated this stuff. Oh, I do. I think this stuff looks awful. If it was up to me, I'd tear it all down right away. But you like it, and I'm <laughs> your friend. And I care about you, and the things that make you happy. We live here together, and I don't want you to feel like you're nobody here. I'm also, uh, maybe hoping a bit that... If you're happier, you'll stop killing everyone? A little bit? Ha! Ah! Wow, well, Stella, you're right! You wanted this to make me stop? Seeing it makes me feel more motivated than ever! Gosh... If what I do leads you to do all of this, I need to up the ante. I gotta keep going. I need to do things that'll really stick. I need to do something so fracked that you have no idea how to fix it. Uh, it's not what I wanted. Come on, Lamb Chop. I'm doing all this because I want you to be happy. So do I. Even still, wouldn't you be happier with things this way anyway? Excuse me? You like playing hero, don't you? How are you gonna do that when there's no villain? I like the decorations, by the way. They remind me of you. Very pretty. Lamp Chop! I'm happy that we're friends. Lamp Chop's not happy about the friends thing, that's the whole issue! I'm just, like, dying inside. I know you are. The sheep said to the witch, and they lived happily ever after. The End And thank you, the player. So, that's it for a Sweet No Death. Um, kind of like a tongue-in-cheek parody. Because if you look at the game description page, it um, has like... Uh, it kind of like admits what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, early on, it plays its hand. 
and you see like yeah this is supposed to be it's just the, the witch is just like damn it it's not supposed to be an rpg maker horror game stop it stop it it's supposed to be animal crossing stop it and you know she she just couldn't beat the inevitable and of course it had to be like an animal village because like that's what these things always are usually they're always like animal villages and stuff i feel like it it, it sometimes makes the violence like more consumable ha <laughs> consumable um if it's like animal disney village but I did like it. I mean, I've liked all of Arcade Kittens games. I haven't played all of them. Some of them are fairly lengthy. I just haven't really gone to around them. Like, as in, like, up to eight hours and more, I think, gameplay-wise. But it was an overall good um, take on the, the, the style. The vast majority of the game is just a commentary in the, the butcher basement, which is which is a curious choice. It's not necessarily bad. I, I think it gives it, like, its own kind of... I would say, uh, not quite look, but directorial kind of uh, uniqueness, where it's just the witch is just listening to Lamb Chop just rant, and just rant, and just rant. And Lamb Chop is like more than welcome to like keep ranting about as, you know, like chopping meat and ranting. Um, and, and now there's gonna be some kind of weird Joker Batman thing going on in this village. Like, all you Lamb Chop. But yeah, anyway. So if you go off watching play Sweet No Death, I'll see you guys later and take it easy.